Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new Photoshop tutorial and this one is a little bit weird. It's a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit gross to be honest with you and um, we're going to um, be doing some, some weird things to this picture um, but I hope you enjoy it all the same. The Bible verse that we're going to illustrate for this one is James 3 verse 6 and that talks about our tongue being made out of fire and um, all of our words that we say that come out of our mouth is just full of wickedness. And it really talks about the power of the tongue, the power of our voice, the power of our words, and um, the evil that we can we can bring to um, people around us just by um, our evil thoughts and our evil words and everything that we say. So I do want to create kind of a disturbing image that shows that our mouth is full of wickedness. Now that's the bad news of the vow verse, but the good news is we don't have to be controlled by our tongue. Um, if the Holy Spirit dwells inside of you, and, and that's true if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, if the Holy Spirit dwells inside of you, that you can be led by the Spirit and not by by the tongue. So um, James 3, 6 paints a really dark picture of our, our mouth and our words, and so I want to illustrate that in kind of a creepy way, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need a few pictures. You're going to need this picture, and this is just my wife and her, her mouth, and uh, so you'll need that one. You also need a picture of fire. Um, and you can download this picture and um, both all the pictures, really. You can download them on our website. Go to ChristianPhotoshops.com and just click on the free stock images at the bottom. And uh, there's there's hundreds of images there. You can download them and uh, play with them and practice with them. And uh, I hope you use that, that resource. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, here's our picture we're going to start with. We're going to start with this base picture. The very first thing I want to do is clean up the edges here. So I took this picture just in the living room. We got the, some windows in the background, and I just want to clean up the edges here. So what I'm going to do is use a gradient tool and just um, pick like one of these dark colors of her hair. It doesn't necessarily have to be black, but just a dark color. I'm going to bring that in over here on the, the right like that. And then I'm going to go over here and do pretty much the same thing on the left and just pull that in. And that way it, we're just taking away those distractions that are on the left and the right. Uh, my gradient map went in a little bit too far, so what I'm going to do is just mask out um, some some of that that darkness that we brought in, and just bring back the face layer. Okay, that looks good. Now our eyes going straight to the face, but before it's kind of distracting because there's kind of stuff going on in the background. All right, next thing I want to do is do a levels adjustment, and I'm going to bring um, the whites down a little bit. We're going to make it darker, but we're only going to make it darker on part of the image, and that's going to be the neck part. So there's our levels adjustment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask out the, the face part because I only want the neck to be darker. Um, we're going to have a lot of uh, fire and some some crazy stuff on the dark on the, the neck, so I do want to make sure that that's dark so the fire will pop out a little bit better. Okay, so there we go. There's our levels adjustment on the neck and the bottom part of the image, and that looks good right there. Okay, next thing I want to do is uh, create a new layer on top of everything. We're going to call this one Black Lips. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint black on the lip, but really just the bottom lip. So I'm going to zoom in, get a black brush, and then just, just paint black right where the lips are. But I just want to do the bottom lip for now. Uh, we might do the top lip a little bit later, but just paint black where the bottom lip is. You can use any brush that you want. Um, I just used a, a basic round brush, but you can use any brush you want. Just paint black everywhere the bottom of the lip is. Try to stay off of the skin and try to stay off of the top lip. And that looks pretty good right there. Now we want to change the color of the lips to black. So what we'll do is we'll change our blend mode over here. Change that to color. And what that does is it brings the color out of the layer we just painted, which are the, the layer we just painted was black, which is essentially no color. So we just turned her bottom lip to kind of a black and white um, image, a non, there's no color in, at all in, in the lips now. So we took that out. Okay, so that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate that layer, Control J, just duplicate the layer and change that blend mode to overlay. And now we've got really dark lips, really um, deep black, very contrasty, um, but that's that's way too much. So what I'm going to do is create a layer mask, and I'm going to 
um, paint out some of the bottom part of the lip. In theory, um, all of this black stuff is going to be coming out of the mouth. Um, it's where the lips meet is where it's going to be darkest. And uh, so the bottom part will be a little bit lighter, and then the top part will be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to kind of paint out this bottom part just a little bit, and that way the darkest part is where it's actually going to be coming out of the mouth, like that. And that's still a little bit too dark, so we'll just bring the opacity down 70 or 80 percent, something like that. Okay, let's zoom out, see how we look. That looks great. We've got um, the black on the, the sides. We've got the black lips. Now we're able to go to the next step. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to merge all of these layers together. So just go ahead and um, click all the layers together and click Merge Layers, just like that. And now we're going to be working on um, this layer, and we're going to be doing it in a destructive way. So what I would recommend doing is go ahead and copy your background layer. So Control J and then we can call it face one or whatever you want to call it. Um, what we're going to do is begin doing destructive editing on it. So if you do mess up, so if you completely mess up the layer, um, it's okay. Just um, delete that one and then duplicate your background again and then we'll just start all over. So that's okay. So if you mess up, you can always just um, delete your layer and start back over here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the smudge tool. So go over here to your smudge tool and uh, we're going to do um, just a small brush, about 95% strength, and um, what we're going to do is, so all of the blackness is coming out of her mouth, so I'm going to be pulling out some streaks of black, and it's going to be coming out of her mouth, out of where the lips meet, so all of this blackness is just kind of, it's overwhelming, it's, it's just, it's coming out, her mouth can't hold it in anymore, so it's just kind of creeping out across the lips just like that. So just take your smudge tool and just draw, just follow the, um, the natural logical way that it would come out. So it would go out of the center of the mouth, it would kind of curve with the lips, and then it would kind of go straight down because gravity would pull, would pull it down. So just kind of work with that for a while. It would just bring some some of these black streaks in. It's going to start looking gross now. So this is the gross part of the, the picture, but it's kind of fun too. So um, you can have it as many streaks or as few as you want. You can have some coming out here of the corner of the mouth. Um, you can have some, you can have a lot of streaks. You can have really big streaks, whatever you want to do and spend some time on it. I, the original picture I did, I uh, spent a couple of hours just getting these streaks to look right. I'm not going to do that for the tutorial, uh, but you can spend a lot of time on it to make it look right and just play with it until you're, you're happy with it. So let me just draw a few more. Now the idea is that we're going to get all of these streaks to go down close to um, the, the shirt area. So to do that, obviously when you, when you are using the smudge tool, um, once you get further away from the mouth, it gets a lighter and lighter color because you're, you're smudging the skin color, not the black. So you got to come back up to the black and pull it down. And these don't have to be straight lines, um, but they need to be kind of straight. So, because gravity is going to be pulling this stuff straight down, but it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So, kind of like that. Get some streaks going down here, and you can do different sizes. And like I said, you can you can spend a lot of time on this, making it look right, or making it look more realistic. I don't have the time to show you hours and hours of editing in this, but I do want to show you the basic idea of how I created this image. All right. And not all streaks are going to be the same length. Some are going to be short. Some are going to be longer. Some are going to be fatter, skinnier, etc. Um, so kind of don't make sure not all the streaks are the same length and the same size. And I think that looks okay. It doesn't look perfect. Like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on it for the tutorial, but I think this is a good start. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and move on to the next section. Okay, so the streaks look pretty good. We've got them going down pretty far. What we're going to do is we're going to have all of these on fire in a few minutes. So I want to do want to make sure that they're they're low enough. They're down here close to the shirt. I don't want them too high. And I do want to make sure they're nice and dark. Some of these were not quite as dark as I'd want them, so I'm just going to keep going up here and bring in more black in. Okay, 
They don't have to be 100% black, but I do want to make sure they're dark. Dark streaks. Okay. So there, there's a good start for it. So we got some, some, ugly, uh, some ugly stuff coming out of her mouth. It's really gross right now, and we're going to make it even grosser. So let's go up here to the top. What I'm going to do is make a new layer on top of everything, and we're just going to call this black well, filth. We'll call it filth. And uh, I'm going to take a regular soft brush, and then I'm going to paint. See this color up here? It's not black. It's almost black. But I'm going to paint this color right here. I'm going to paint it right here on top of the lip. And the idea is that there's just it, this liquid, this filth, or whatever we want to call it, just kind of pulling up right here in the mouth before it, it falls over. So I'm going to paint just a big old lake of this stuff right here. It can even go up onto the, the top lip a little bit because there's just there's going to be so much of it. Just like that. Okay, so we got a bunch of it right there. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to add some highlights to make a new layer on top of that one. And you can call it highlights. And then what you want to do is take a, a white brush, just a really uh, small white brush. And you want to paint some highlights on it. And so what that's going to do is going to show like the shine. Since this is like, kind of like a liquid type stuff, you're just going to paint a few little highlights on the edges. And it's going to make it look like it's uh, it's a liquid, and it looks like the the light is is shining on it. So just a few little highlights. You can spend a lot of time on this too. Um, I'm not going to for the tutorial, but you definitely want to look make the highlights look like there's just a lot of this this black liquid in here. So you want the highlights um, where the water would be, or the the filth, wherever we want to call it. You want to make the highlights right on the edges, and then you also want to take the highlights and kind of bring them down into these little streaks of black because they would be liquid as well so they would also have a reflection on them and it doesn't have to be perfect most people aren't going to zoom in on your picture so you're just kind of I'm just kind of showing you the idea that these white highlights are on the black and it makes it look a lot more um, wet I guess you would say just like that and spend some time with it and uh, just keep playing around with it until um, it looks it looks okay. Let's see how this looks though. Okay, so let me zoom out real quick. Okay, so here's without the highlights and then there's with the highlights. So you can see how it makes it look like it's a little bit of, of water going on. And uh, it's just definitely adding to the, the gross factor here. Um, but that's okay. All right, there we go. All right, so now let's do the fire part. So we have our black coming out of the mouth, and so next thing I want to do is add the fire to the to the the glowing. Uh, I want to add some glowing to these streaks because these these black streaks are going to catch on fire at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our fire layer and just use the lasso tool and just take one of these flames right here, just copy and paste it right here. Uh, you can call it fire if you want to and change your blend mode to screen like that and you're going to bring it over here to one of these streaks let me zoom in just a little bit uh, right to one of these streaks we'll call it like not that one's fine right there then take your smudge tool and what you want to do is you want to just kind of make that fire kind of follow up these um, these black streaks so just smudge the the fire smudge it like it's going up the streak again this is another thing you can spend spend hours on um, I'm not going to do that here but I do want to show you that you can just use the smudge tool and you can make that fire follow up these these black streaks like that and uh, over here on the edge, when it's a little bit too big, you know, just kind of smudge that in a little bit. Same thing over here. And we'll bring that down here. Okay. 
So that looks pretty good. It looks like uh, the black is turning into fire at the bottom. All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and do another fire one. So we'll go over here and we'll grab, we'll grab this one right here. And same thing, just copy and paste it. You can call this one fire two if you want. Change it to screen. Oops, not color dodge. Change it to screen. There we go. And then we'll go over here on this side. We'll do, we'll do it twice. We'll do one right here. Change it to smudge and just make it kind of creep up. You can make, um, let's make our brush size a little bit smaller. So just smudge it up like that. You can even make it go to the sides if you want. Uh, whatever you think looks good. There's no real rules here, um, but just play with it until you like how it looks. Okay. I think that looks pretty good right there. And you can always mask out some of the parts you don't want um, if the, the flame is a little bit too big, for example. Okay. All right, I'm going to go back and get this one again. And I'm going to put it, I'll call this one Fire 3. Oops. I'll call it Fire 3. And then I'm just going to bring it um, down here to the bottom of this one, like that. Okay. And then smudge it accordingly. Just like that. And then we'll smudge this one up here. And then there's a few little problems, so what I'll do is I'll just take the layer mask and uh, just kind of get rid of some of these things going on down here. Okay, that looks fine. All right, so you can add some more fire if you want to. I'm just going to leave it like that, just, just a couple pieces of, of fire. So we'll just leave it like that. The next thing I want to do is um, create a new layer on top of everything, and we'll call this one Glow. Glow. And we're going to get an orange brush, just a light orange brush, kind of like that. Let me zoom out. And I'm going to just paint a huge swath of orange right over the fire, kind of on the neck. This is going to kind of be a glow that's going to happen from the fire. So just like that, change it to overlay. And then just bring down um, the opacity. We don't want it quite that high. Maybe about 50% or something like that. Whatever you think looks good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is do some amplified glows. So do a new group with a new layer. We'll call it amp. Call it amp glows. Change that uh, the group layer to color dodge. And then inside the layer, I want you to use that same um, orange brush and just kind of paint very, very gently on the, the flames here. This is going to make it really stand out and really pop. There you go, just like that. You can also do some little, um, some little, little sparks shooting off on the sides, just little, little dots. Make it look like it's it's really hot, and really popping. But that looks pretty good. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient map. So go to your gradient map and change it um, from black to white. And then we're going to change that to multiply. So what this is going to do is it's going to definitely add a lot more contrast to the picture. It's going to make it look a little bit more rough, a little bit even even more uh, grungy, more um, scarier, I guess you would say. And I'll just take blend that down just a little bit, maybe like 60 or 70 percent. And then also I want to do another level adjustment. Bring down your whites. And then what we're going to do is just um, take your layer mask and then kind of mask out the part of the fire because that this is your focal point so you can see like the top of the face is dark and now it's light so what that's going to do is just it's going to bring more um it's going to bring more attention to the the center of the screen which is what we want all the fire and stuff 
Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You can spend a lot more time on it. Um, you can make it look a little bit more believable. Um, I definitely spent several hours painting all these streaks and the, the, the fire, but this is the basic idea of how you would make it. So let me show you real quick um, how everything progressed here. So we'll call these colors. Here's our fire. Okay, so let's get rid of all of that. So um, here's what we started with, or that's after we painted the um, the black lips. And then what we did was we used our smudge tool and we just smudged out some of these black streaks. It looks kind of rough, but you can uh, spend more time on it make it look a little bit better. And then we added some, um, even more of the black stuff on top of her mouth and then added some highlights. And then we added some fire and then we added a glow, and then we added more glows, and then we changed the colors just a little bit. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a little bit gross, it's a little bit disturbing, um, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. If you tried to do it on your own, I would love to see what you come up with. Maybe you can say, make something a little bit better than what I did. And uh, But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We got a lot more coming up the rest of the summer. And uh, so thanks for taking the time to watch this one, and uh, we'll check you guys later. Appreciate it.